Audio is the bridge between reality and fantasy. It tells uh, half the story. For a video game, nothing sound-wise exists and start coming up with what other people actually experience. What we did with Horizon is that we managed to create this really uh, dynamic sound environment that continues to change all of the time. I think we have some really beautiful sceneries in the game and they also sound very lush and vibrant. It's an open world game, so you have to make it feel it's full of life. It was very challenging to achieve a level of synthetic life versus organic life balance, at least in my um, focus that is the robot. The most important thing when you create sounds for a game is that you keep it natural, that you don't create sounds just to make a big impression. Everything that happens around you should actually make the game experience better. One of the things that I think interesting about game audio is that we always have all of this 3D information. So things move not just through a far away or to the left or to the right, but they will also move up and down. For the first time with 3D audio, we can actually use that information and represent it somewhere. And those things are much clearer and much more pinpoint accuracy in the, in the 3D audio uh, tech with the Platinum headset. The difference between a multi-channel setup like a 7.1 or 5.1 and 3D audio experience definitely is we are adding a layer of height and depth. In a flat surround system, you cannot communicate the height uh, as clearly. 3D audio makes it much easier to find out what's going on in your environment. From a gameplay perspective, it just really helps with all of the different um, dimensions that are going on in our gameplay. We have robots that will dive deep under the ground, we have robots that will fly up in the sky, and all of that information will be uh, much more easy to read as a player. We did a good job uh, in Horizon Zero Dawn creating that atmosphere that the players can really enjoy. With 3D audio coming into play, uh, players can actually feel them whooshing over them, flying over them. It just makes it so much more immersive. It builds a much more believable world. What I'm really excited about is that it represents, I think, a big stepping stone in the future of game audio. It's the first time where games like us can use that much detailed uh, information. In a sense, it represents a first step in what the future of sound will be, and it's really exciting to be part of that first step.